Hey, so I had a question on my channel about the loop slice tool and also the add loop tool and what the differences between those tools are. So if I go to add loop and I just execute it anywhere, as you can see, as I'm dragging my mouse over or hovering my mouse over my model, you'll notice that some of the edges actually highlight. Now it is a little bit slow because I'm rendering, but if I, um, if I click anywhere on this edge, you'll notice that it goes all the way around and selects that loop automatically, or rather it slices that uh, loop automatically. And it also gives you the distance from this point to this point and from here to here. So it slices this edge and then it gives you exactly um, the percentage, but it also gives you the full distance. The cool thing about that is, is if you want to now keep consistent distances from one loop slice to another, so let's just say I add another add loop and I have it go to about three centimeters again, then I know that this and this is very similar. So as I have, as I'm working on a larger model and I want very consistent distances, then I could use that. Now the one limitation of this tool is that I can't actually define a path. I have to cut an edge loop entirely. So, or I mean, I have to create an edge loop uh, all at once. Now with the loop slice tool, the, my main difference is that, first of all, you make a selection and then you add a loop slice. So let's just turn it back to one under the count. And as you can see, you have a loop slice. So it only really works on a full, uh, only on the selection. Now the main difference between this tool and the other one is that I can actually break the direction and I can do something like this. So now if I go to loop slice, you'll get a result like this. And of course, if I left click now, I can slide the result after the fact. Now the cool, other cool thing is that if I go to count again, and if I add, let's just say four, I now have four little widgets here that I can move around so I can slide my edges all independently. And that is something that you can't do with the other tool. And again, both these tools have preserved curvature, which is nice. You can actually turn it down to zero if you wanted to. But the other cool thing is that you don't only have to make one loop, you can actually make several. So if I was going to do something like this, where I make one loop cut, and then let's just say I make another somewhere like here, then if I enable this loop slice tool, you'll notice that I automatically made two slices. So you actually can't do that with the other tool. And that really is it. I mean, like that's, the, that's really the biggest difference that I, that I've, you know, ever noticed. I mean, that's the only, I, I mostly use the loop slice tool. I don't really use the add loop tool to be honest, but, um, that's basically it. I hope this helped.